The Ukrainian armed forces captured a rare Russian stealth drone S-70 Okotnik, writes Forbes. The publication writes that the drone fell in the area of Chesov Yar, and the Russian Federation has only a few such devices at its disposal, the cost of which is approximately $1.5 billion. Now the drone, or its parts, have fallen into the hands of the Ukrainian armed forces. This is a significant loss for the Russian aerospace forces, since there are only a few such drones with a 65-foot wingspan and a jet engine, Forbes analyst David Axe reported. According to him, one of these UAVs or its wreckage is now in the possession of Ukraine and its allies. They will disassemble it down to the last screw and, of course, familiarize themselves with its rich internal contents, said Fighter Bomber, an unofficial telegram channel of the Russian Air Force. The analyst notes that it is unclear what exactly caused the drone to be shot down while it was trying to avoid radar detection. Video from the ground clearly shows a military aircraft firing a missile at the arrow-shaped Okotnik, causing it to crash. The question arises, was it a Ukrainian fighter jet, or perhaps a Russian one? The first version seems more likely, but the second is not excluded either, he points out. If the Okotnik was out of action, the Russians might decide to shoot it down themselves to avoid the risk of it crash landing and falling into the hands of the Ukrainian military in relatively undamaged condition. I really hope it was a loss of control due to something going wrong, or the drone's brain going crazy for its own reasons, not because the drone was intercepted by the enemy," fighter bomber wrote. One of the possible reasons for the downing of the Okotnik could have been intense electronic warfare on the front line. According to experts, the drone probably does not have full autonomy and relies on stable communication with ground operators. Now Ukrainian and allied analysts can confirm this feature by examining the remains of the downed device. It is a major loss for the Russian Air Force, which has already lost more than 100 combat aircraft, including a Su-57 fighter, during the war in Ukraine. It is noted that the first images of the Okotnik appeared in 2019, where it was recorded at an airfield in Novosibirsk, resembling the American B-2 with its flying wing design. The drone is classified as a strike and reconnaissance drone. According to independent Russian military aviation expert Tom Cooper, it is likely that the Okotnik is still in the testing phase and has not yet entered serial production. It may still be a prototype aircraft. While it is not uncommon for the Russian Air Force to deploy test aircraft to combat zones to gather real-world data, losing a rare and expensive test aircraft during combat testing is a huge setback for the development effort, he points out. The Russians likely deployed the Okotnik because of a shortage of standard surveillance drones, which they are losing in large numbers on the front lines. According to analyst Andrew Perpetua, a third of Russian surveillance drones are shot down by Ukrainian forces every day. In response to the surveillance gap, the Russians decided to deploy the Okotnik, but it fell victim to the same Ukrainian air defenses that have destroyed many of their other drones. Russia's elite Marines have suffered four times higher losses during a year of fighting near Volodar in Donetsk Oblast than during 10 years of the Second Chechen War, the BBC News Russia reported. Kiev's forces announced the withdrawal from the key Donetsk Oblast settlement on October the 2nd after Russian forces swarmed the town's flanks and entered Volodar itself. Lying in the southern part of the region, roughly 40 kilometers east of the administrative border with Zaporizhia Oblast, Volodar has faced a heavy Russian onslaught since 2022. The elite 155th and 40th Marine Brigades of the Russian Armed Forces, also known as the Black Berets, were involved in the storming of the city supported by armored vehicles. The Marines were also assisted by motorized rifle units manned by mobilized and volunteer personnel. According to the BBC, at least 211 Marines from the 155th Brigade were killed during the battle for Volodar, with another 42 missing.
This far exceeds the unit's losses during the decade-long Second Chechen War in 1999 to 2009, the media outlets report showed. BBC journalists were also able to confirm the deaths of 72 Russian soldiers from the 40th Brigade. According to the BBC, the seriousness of the losses is confirmed by the fact that both brigades began using Storm Z units made up of convicts. Ukraine's 72nd Mechanized Brigade had defended Volodar, the key to Ukrainian defenses in the southern part of Donetsk Oblast, for nearly two years without rotations. After withdrawing from the town, the 72nd Brigade's troops moved to a new defense line to continue holding back Russian forces. Arseny Prylepko, a spokesperson for the 72nd Separate Mechanized Brigade, told Romadsky. Two undisclosed soldiers from the same brigade told Suspiln that their unit continues to hold the defenses in the same direction near the occupied city. According to one of the service members, some battalions that suffered significant losses during the battle for Volodar will be based in Donetsk Oblast, 10 to 15 kilometers from the front line. During this time, they are going to be replenished. The rest of the units will hold the defense in this direction, the soldier said. Another soldier said the brigade remains in the same area because there is no one to replace it. During his address on September the 30th, President Volodymyr Zelensky said that Ukraine faces a very challenging situation on the front lines. Apart from Volodar, Russian forces have been focusing their efforts against the Donetsk Oblast towns of Pokrovsk and Toretsk, where outnumbered and outgunned Ukrainian soldiers are slowly losing ground under Russian pressure. Russian troops also appear to be preparing for assault operations in the southeastern Zaporizhia Oblast, where the enemy is amassing personnel, the Ukrainian military's Southern Command spokesperson Vladislav Voloshin said.